A massive news drop for a development update for the MCC coming to PC for you guys. Updates on the current flight status, flighting details such as content and playlists, challenges coming to the MCC, and a brand new invite system. Stay tuned out the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel more than you actually would know. So let's get right into the content here. Now we do get these weekly little bite pieces of what an MCC updates are when it comes to flighting, playlist updates and things like that, but every month we get a big news bomb when it comes to the Master Chief Collection and the current status of things happening with that game as they move closer and closer to having it as a true games as a service kind of product. So Postman's made a big boy of an update on Waypoint, guys. I'm gonna have to break this down to multiple videos, so make sure you follow the channel, guys. Keep yourselves up to date with everything going on here. I'm gonna have to make multiple videos on this because there's so much content to go into, it, but I'm gonna give you the stuff you gotta know right now when it comes to this stuff. So like I said, we're gonna be talking about the current status of the flights. We're gonna be talking about the flight details, like content and playlist challenges coming and the invite system. So let's get right into it. So in case you guys might have missed my previous video on the current status of the flights, we are at the moment, as we know for the public, we are currently at ring one. I'm assuming also ring two, probably thrown in there as well as they kind of get done simultaneously. That started back on Sunday, March 29th. Now we don't have a current update at the moment where we are right now, but the flight is at right now ring one and we will soon probably, I'm assuming by the end of this week, we'll know about what the current status of what the uh, bug fixes that need to be done before going to ring three, us Halo insiders. Since Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo 2 Classic are kind of in that same boat as Halo CE Anniversary and Halo CE as they were PC games that had remastered versions of the game that were based on the PC versions of their prior release counterparts that I would assume that these are going to be kind of going rather smoothly as in last flighting process we had when that first started happening for CE it only took about a week before we started having public flighting for Ring 3 people. Now we'll let you guys know as soon as we get an update on what ring we are at the status right now and when that release date for the flights will happen, I will make sure to guys let you know on this channel. As we're talking about the current kind of updates and when that's going to happen for flight three, we can talk about the content that we now know is confirmed for this flight. So there will be three new features being tested in this flight, a brand new challenge system, which we'll get into later in this video, a customizations that you can do for your Halo Spartan in Halo 2. It's rather routine rudimentary similar to CE but you know at least it's there and it looks awesome I will share screenshots for you guys as well and we will be receiving theater mode that will be available on mouse and keyboard as well for Halo 2 anniversary now just to touch on the theater side of things that I really hope it works properly uh, I recently been playing a lot of Halo 2 and Halo 2 anniversary on the Xbox version to kind of get myself ready for this fly cannon back in the swing of things and I noticed that when I went to go back to get like a record some gameplay or record, record a screenshot for a game I had that I wanted to post on the channel, on the channel here, that uh, it only captured the very first game of my playception on um, recent games for files to check out. All the other games for the last three hours were not there. They were not available. They didn't show up in the theater mode. So I hope that not only does the theater mode function properly, but also it has the ability to save your games properly so that you can go back and rely on that if you need to record gameplay or record a clip or something in that way. They will also have some campaign missions for Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary, both. Both classic and anniversary versions of this campaign these campaign missions will be available for us to play they'll be available on any difficulty level single player or cooperative online play as well so the missions will be cairo station metropolis the Oracle, Delta Halo, Quarantine Zone, and Grave Mind. One thing I'm pretty excited about is that one of my favorite all-time Halo missions, Delta Halo, is going to be in this, so I will certainly have to give this a go. Obviously, there's going to be a multiplayer involved with this flighting as well for Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary. They state here that there will be various maps and playlists for multiplayer. They will include such things as custom games, social games, and competitive games as well. For social games, they'll have 2v2, 4v4, and 8v8. For competitive, they'll only have Halo Halo 2 Classic. 
not Halo 2 Anniversary, which I'm a little let down because I actually kind of wanted to play Halo 2 Anniversary quite a bit and grind the ranks up in that mode when the game does get released. I'm hoping there will be a ranked when it comes to the re-release on to PC. Uh, currently, as you know, in the MCC, there is no ranked Halo 2 Anniversary, and I'd really hope to see that with the game being released and hopefully get some revitalization. I did reach out to Postums on Twitter asking him if it will be added in uh, eventually this on, on the release of Halo 2 Anniversary, and I have not received a reply back yet but I will let you guys know as soon as I do. Uh, for Halo 2 multiplayer for Classic they'll have the maps of Lockout, Midship, Beaver Creek, Burial Mounts, Coagulation, Headlong, Waterworks, Containment, Sanctuary, and Turf. While Halo 2 Anniversary will have Lockdown which is the Lockout variation, Zenith which is the version of Ascension, Stone Town which is Zanzibar, Bloodline which is the Coagulation remake and Shrine which is the Sanctuary remake. Now like I did mention they do have customization that's going to be involved with this much like CE there was only color that you could change but you had a little bit extra addition with secondary colors added in with a wider range of color palette choices as well and you can see in this screenshot here that the Halo 2 classic model in Unreal 4 engine, engine rendered out in that just looks freaking awesome looks the best i've ever seen it. it might even be better than what it looks like in halo 2 anniversary to be honest like <laughs> that's at least that's just my opinion but we also do have a version of where we can see what's going to look like for the customization for halo 2 anniversary again very similar in this case they show an elite right here as you can see that they have in halo 2 anniversary now trust me when the game does release i will certainly make videos going in depth when it comes to, it comes to the customization involved with the process of these two different builds because i'm sure you guys definitely want to see them like i said subscribe to the channel keep you guys up to date I'll let you guys know with that. And next we can move on to what is something I'm probably the most excited about when it comes to the additions coming to the MCC are challenges. Uh, these are going to be weekly and seasonal challenges that we'll be receiving for PVE and PVP. Uh, for the example here that you show, again, this is also just a work in progress mock-up. This isn't finalized. I'm sure rewards, numbers, and things like that and tasks will change from the screenshot. So this is only just an example of what we will probably see see and when I see here it looks very promising as we have a bunch of weekly challenges for PVE which are all these are social uh, kind of campaign modes uh, you have one that's uh, they have highlighted saying complete one campaign mission in Halo 2 anniversary on legendary difficulty and you can see the rewards are one seasonal point 50k XP and it looks like a nameplate as well and gives you examples of what maps and levels you can play on and what game to play specifically you can also see it at the top of the screen there is weekly PvP as well and they mentioned the kind of examples that we might see when it comes to like PV stuff uh, saying like play X matches in this specific game type of a playlist uh, save user generated content play any time in the month of April uh, kill X units things like that to kind of just give you a more reason to hop in and play this will certainly help out a lot of people when they've been feeling that there is just a really big grind when it comes to going through the progression system that's now in the MCC so I'm assuming we will also see a new season coming with Halo 2 anniversaries release guys so keep an eye out that Again, I'll keep you up to date with the whole thing. Uh, I think this is just a really great thing to do. Uh, it gives me some reason to hop on every week. I'll be grinding out on the stream, guarantee that for sure. Uh, I'll definitely give you guys tips and trick videos as well on how to get through these as efficiently as possible. But I also really enjoy that they have a seasonal progression as well when it comes to these challenges. So it's not just every week or every day. You have an entire like four month process to get certain kind of tasks done. I would love to see some kind of good grindy kind of content out of that just like so keep guys keep coming back and playing i'm super excited about this this is going to drastically change my experience when playing mcc now you're probably thinking okay this sounds great and awesome i want to jump in and play this how do i do it well they actually have a new messaging system when it comes to the flighting process as there has been a lot of confusion and a lot of uh, missteps when it comes to using the email process that they were doing before now what you're going to, have to do if you do get invited you'll get a notification on halo waypoint informing that you've been invited and then you follow the links within that it'll give you the key that you need or process that you need to go through to download the game to be able to play this so it gives the players more tasks i would say to do when it comes to getting involved with these flights but i would say it's a bit easier on 343s and where they only have to do is just deal with their own internal system send out a notification they know it all works properly because we've had so many people i've seen online get 
uh, you know, mad because um, either they sent in the wrong email or they get sent to their spam folder, their junk folder, uh, or a different kind of division within their email that they just never saw it. I've seen plenty of things. People going like, oh, I didn't realize I got invited until the last minute and now it's gone. Uh, now, this should be a much more uh, concise, much more accurate way to get people invited with these flights and get the community involved. I think it's a proper way to go about doing this. And I think it also makes things a little bit easier to track when it comes to uh, participation for these flights as well as it's all going to be through 343's internal system using their website. I think this is a good move. You guys excited for Halo 2 anniversary flighting? I certainly am. I definitely am going to be jumping in and playing a bunch. I'll be streaming it a ton as well. So make sure you check out the link in the description down below guys to my Twitch channel. I do stream every Tuesday and Thursday night. And if you guys want to stay updated with everything going on the channel or Halo news or anything like that, make sure you tap subscribe to keep yourselves updated with all the stuff happening in the Halo community. If you miss any content from me or are new to the channel, check out the links on the screen right now. I got a link to my all my MCC update playlist videos. So if you guys missed anything the last week or two, check out those videos. It'll keep you up to date. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.